The Timberwolves and the NBA are still buzzing about last night's big game from Carl Anthony Towns. The Wolves are just playing red hot right now. Our Pierre Newsom joins us. Uh, Pierre, this performance, just another level all-star kind of performance. The type of performance that even would get Randy's attention, <laughs> to right. keep his attention for a longer period of time. There is no doubt about it. We all know how talented this guy is, but last night was just a next level type of performance by Carl Anthony Towns. The Wolves big man exploding for a franchise record 60 points in route to what was Minnesota's 16th win in their last 21 games. Perhaps what was most remarkable about last night's outing was Towns dropping 32 points in the third quarter alone. Towns' 60-point night was also the most points ever scored in a game at the AT&T Center in San Antonio, and he surpasses Kevin Love for the most 40-point-plus games in Timberwolves history. Towns now has 11 of them, 19 of 31 from the field, 7 of 11 from three, 15 of 16 from the free-throw line. It doesn't get much more efficient than that from Carl Anthony Towns. The Wolves were already playing shorthanded in the front court with Jared Vanderbilt and Nas Reed, both out with injuries, so Towns knew that he was going to be playing extended minutes, but he says he was ready to do whatever the team needed him to do in order to secure the win. I told coach before the game, I said, hey, listen, um, we need this win. Um, I'll do whatever it takes. I, I told him before the game, if I need to play 44, 48 minutes, I'll get it done. And um, that was kind of the mindset I came in and um, coming come to, to the game, I just had that kind of mindset. I, I had to dominate. And Towns took to Twitter today reflecting on last night's moment saying, quote, yesterday was two years to the day that my parents walked into the ER, ER at JFK Medical Center in Edison, New Jersey, and were admitted with COVID-19, the same hospital that my mother gave me life, and tragically, the same hospital where I saw her life begin to slip away. Two years later, I walked into AT&T Center with the greatest guardian angel that I could ever ask for and dropped 60 against the winningest coach of all time. Towns also went on to tweet that this game, this life he's leading right now is all for his late mother, Jackie, who passed away from COVID-19 a couple of years ago. A surreal moment for Towns last night. Guys, uh, let's not forget, this team is 40 and 30 right now, right in the thick of things in this playoff race, and they're back to work tomorrow night at home yeah. against LeBron James and the LA Ooh, Lakers. Be a good one. Good luck yeah. getting tickets for future Absolutely. Uh, Wolves games. It's getting harder Could and harder. Could be a potential play-in game, too, down the line between these two teams, yeah. so we might not see the last of LeBron right. and the Lakers. Right. Thanks, Pierre.